again. <laughs> Funny. You seem like you're in it for the kids, though. You seem like, you know, I mean, I, I don't... I kids. <laughs> All this is so new to me. And I, what I've seen is money between so one thing between the between the publishing companies, the Common Core publishing companies, and the schools. Joke. Is that true? Bullshit. And the thing is, what they do is they create some new f***ing system that f***ing sucks. Sell more books, and then we have to learn something new. And the student, and it's so it's bullshit. It's all about the money. What are you, crazy? It's all about the money. You don't think that the educational publishing companies are in it for education, do you? No, they're in it for the money. The publishing companies are the winners in this game. Is that true? Is there money that goes in between? Yeah! Between the publishing companies and the schools? Oh my god! It's all a money game. It's all a money game. You seem like you're in it for the kids, though. You seem like, you know, I mean, I don't... I hate kids. <laughs> I'm in it to sell books. Don't even kid yourself for a hard movie. Billions and billions of dollars have been spent by the federal government trying to implement Common Core across the country. Most of that goes to big textbook publishing companies. And those textbook publishing companies spend millions and millions of dollars on lobbyists to continue the gravy train. They say Common Core is about raising educational standards for children. But is it really about the kids? Project Veritas investigates. This is Diane Barrow. She is a high-ranking sales executive for Houghton Mifflin one of America's largest school book publishers, now reaping huge profits from the adoption of Common Core. Our journalists posed as political consultants interested in Common Core. Again, <laughs> funny. You seem like you're in it for the kids, though. You seem like, you know, I mean, I, I don't... hate kids. <laughs> I'm in it to sell books. Don't even kid yourself for a hard movie. <laughs> yeah. Diane has been selling books for years and used to work for what is now her chief competitor and the other giant in the school book publishing business, Pearson Education. The company has literally made billions of dollars off Common Core. And I've worked for Pearson. Oh, you have? Oh, yeah. And Everybody's worked for Pearson. It owns the world, you know. Um, they just do underhanded things. It's all about the money. What are you, crazy? It's all about the money. Oh, well, we know. <laughs> Like generally, and you yeah. know, not not just Pearson, you don't but think that the educational publishing companies are in it for education. Do you? No, they're in it for the money. So <laughs> the fact that they have to align the educational standards is what they have to do to sell the books. Right. So it's really about the money, not really about the kids. You think? Diane explained to our undercover journalists how the publishing companies look at Common Core. But did, do the publishers lobby for those mandates to be put in place because their because their materials are that that's what their no, materials? No, they didn't lobby for them to be put in place. Uh -huh. But they lobby now. They now they go after the money. They the, want to, you know. It's just like any business. If you're selling T-shirts, mm -hmm. you want your T-shirts to fit everybody. Yeah. Right? So, well, so that's, what that's what I'm asking. So 
your t-shirt will fit him. You know? And you know. This publishing executive is comparing our school textbooks to t-shirts. One size fits all. She's not entirely happy about it. It's just the way it is. In my opinion, education should have a bottom line. Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously, it should not be. This is one place where it really shouldn't be about the money. Yeah. It really should be about the kids. And you hear it all the time. Oh, it's all about the kids. No, it's not. It's not about the kids. You know, as far as the, the publishers are concerned. As far as, as anybody's anybody. Concerned. You know, whatever they can say. Oh, it's all about the kids. Yeah. It's clear Common Core isn't really about education, it's about selling books. <laughs> but yeah, do you in, see in, that more with, with the Common Core? I know on our end, it seems like there's a little more pushing because there's so much federal money involved for these publishers to really be on top of their game. Well, they, they can't sell anything unless it's aligned to the Common Core. Diane also had some strong opinions about things like homeschooling. She thinks the parents who homeschool are at best naive and at worst, stupid. I guess homeschool parents don't buy enough of her company's textbooks. I feel very strongly about this. It's the same about homeschoolers and charter schools. Hmm. Homeschoolers, I'm sorry, did you go to school to be a teacher? Well, then don't teach your kids, you know? Well, they gave me the curriculum. I don't care. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't care what they gave you, because when I taught school, I had parents coming in saying, what? five-year-old can read this whole book. It's like, no, he can't. He's memorized it. <laughs> she is also no fan of Donald Trump. No surprise there either, as he has called Common Core, quote, a disaster, unquote. Common Core has to be ended. It's a disaster. It's a way of... Who is listening to Donald Trump? I mean, come on. Well, but, I mean, that's what we're nervous about is that his poll numbers are you know, unusually high for a primary Trump, season. Trump, old white men yeah. that are frustrated with their life. It's yeah. like a midnight life crisis. Yeah. He can't pay. And so he doesn't know policy. He doesn't mm -hmm. even, has he ever read the Constitution? Diane Barrow is one of the hidden faces of Common Core a publishing sales executive who says the whole thing is just about money and then to top it off admits she hates kids. You seem like you're in it for the kids though. You seem like, you know, I mean I don't... I hate kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the money. What are you crazy? It's all about the money. 